It's iconic for this area. If Sopra died here. A scar on my body. We're Simone and Giovanni, and over the last three years, we quit our jobs, moved to Mexico with our dog, got married, and began our journey to visit all 32 states of Mexico. If you're planning a trip to the stunning Riviera Maya in Mexico, you may have heard about the dreaded sargasm season that seems to be getting longer and longer each year. In all honesty, it sucks and could put a real damper on your vacation. But in this video, we have the perfect solution to make your travel experience way better. We'll be sharing our ultimate sargasm escape plan to help you make the most of your trip to the beautiful Mexican Caribbean. So we are currently down on the beach, obviously. Sargasso doesn't mean that you cannot swim, but to be honest, if it's talking to your body, it's itchy, it smells not, not, not nice. Right. Yeah. yeah. One time, Simone got some of some of the sargasso in her body and got like a... Like, a, a, rash, a rash, which yeah. has now turned into a, a scar on my body. So yeah, we, we are not huge fans of being down on the beach when the sargasm is here. And that is why next we are headed to a cenote park so we can spend the whole day there in the water, enjoying this region without the sargasm. Where are in we? Centro. We are in Centro, Playa del Carmen. And we're about to hop onto one of the public vans that travels along this main road that goes up the coast. Hey guys. You want to go there? We're taking the van to Tulum. I mean, not to Tulum, but in the direction of Tulum. Just uh, announce your stop. Just let them know in advance, like probably a few kilometers before. Mm -hmm. So the Yucatan Peninsula is home of 6,000 cenotes, approximately 2,500 cenotes in the Quintana Roo state. And if you don't know what a cenote is, we're going to show you today because we're going to spend the entire day in a cenote park. And this park specifically has five cenotes, yes. which is very different to the other cenotes that you would typically uh, get access to, where it will be maybe one, maybe two cenotes. This has got five and you're getting different types of cenotes, which we will explain a bit later. Jesus Lizard. Leo, está bien. Yo los voy a estar acompañando. Gracias, Leo. Muchísimo gusto. Muchas gracias, Leo. We're all um, checked in. We're just going to go and get our bathing suits on, get all waterproofed up. Are you ready? You ready to rock and roll? Look at this mural. Yeah. Just one second for this mural. It's a big locker, huh? Yep. So we've just packed everything in our locker, which is huge, by the way. Oh. Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> Cenotes are pure and we want to try to keep them as clean as possible. This is just to, to rinse off all of the dirt and the excess oils and stuff so you go in clean. <laughs> Giovanni's all suited up. Suit up. Let's see those shoes. Getting his bag repellent because mosquitoes love him. Is they... this on out, eh? mm. Mm. It smells like um, citronella. It's just completely black, you don't okay, see guys, anything. Okay guys, this is the entrance to the Mayan underworld. Uh -huh. oh, also try to get the view all the time, this is the okay? Okay. Later alligator. We've seen a lot of cenotes in our town, but this is really beautiful. Something that's so good about this is it's very well illuminated, so you can actually see what's happening here. So without these lights, it would be pitch black. There's no sunlight in there. Let's push. Let's push. Is it chilly? The water is chilly. Keep in mind that, like, like I said, this place doesn't get any sunshine at all. So cenotes are cold as it is, but the underground cenotes, I mean, where are they getting their warmth from? They're not getting any warmth. <laughs> Look, look at the clarity. How amazing is that? Cool, hey my love. These are actually stalactites, and I don't know the other word, but stalactites. Stalactites. <laughs> this is something that you would see, like in a in a Marvel movie, hey? So the God of Rain lived in Cenotes. Yeah. That's Actually, awesome. They mentioned in the Black Panther movie. Really? Yeah. That's so cool. My people turn to Jack, our God of Rain and Abundance. 
Actually, Giovanni was mentioning right at the beginning of the video, there's about 6,000 cenotes in the Yucatan Peninsula, which would include the state of Yucatan and the state of Quintana Roo, which is where we currently are. This is the only part of Mexico that you're going to find these cenotes. It's, it's, it's iconic for this area. So if you are coming down here on vacation and you miss visiting a cenote, you're really missing something iconic. You know, when you first hop in, it's actually um, very chilly, but our bodies are acclimatized really quickly. I feel fine now. <laughs> of dissolution and filtration of the rainwater, the rain. When the drop is gonna fall, they start to accumulate more minerals and start to grow a stalagmite. When the bath, for example... walking through formations that have been here, and they're just saying for about 5 million years. Do you like this activity? Why your head, my love? This is the reason we're given homeless. Book. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, it's super tight here, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah, you could literally be walking on top of the earth and not have any idea that this is underneath you. Like Leo was just saying, this formation has been around for about five million years, and they only discovered the Sinope area 25 years ago. This is the first time we're seeing natural lights, we're emerging from the underworld. Gracias. <laughs> they give you water shoes and these are actually really good we've worn a few different types of water shoes before these were really comfy or if you don't want to wear shoes other people have worn you can bring your own okay. Okay. okay, so these are snorkels that we get to take home for hygiene and as a souvenir. The not the number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. <laughs> Here we're gonna do a snorkeling. Wow. wow. Beautiful. This is a really, really beautiful cenote. Oh, I think it's the bluest cenote I've ever seen. Yeah, wow. It's Stunning, absolutely wow. stunning. So it seems like Giovanni and I are the first to volunteer to jump off of the jumping platform and Leo said that he's joining us for the jump. Right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first sacrifice. I walk fast because I am practicing every day. Oh yes. You see how Leo walks like it's nothing. Like, But I'm telling you that these rocks are very hectic for sensitive feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, let's, do it. let's do it together. Hold on, let me put this on my wrist. Okay. Oh, it's quite high, eh? It is nice. It's high? Oh, of course. Okay. One, one <laughs> two, three. <laughs> That's a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Okay. okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Giovanni doing a wonderful job. Careful, you're gonna crash into the lady. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Good exercise, eh? Huh? We're leaving the private scene off there. We won't be allowed back here unfortunately but there are four other cenotes so we're gonna have lunch now i think and then we've got free time literally for the rest of the day until like 5 p.m at the moment we've both been waiting for it's lunch time beautiful restaurant i'm really impressed yeah same well we got a ceviche tostada that's very tasty the fish fillet uh, para mí? Sí. Muy bien. Oh. Y el famoso pochuk. Ah, perfecto. Muchas gracias. The presentation gets a 10 out of 10. Very beautiful. Fantastic flavors. I got pescado empapelado. It's known as tinkinchi. This red paste that you put typically in chicken, but they make it with fish fillet. Oh, yeah. Hmm. with a side of baby potato and some ensalada mm. and for the third course we've got some ice cream it looks like it's handmade ice cream i don't know what flavor it is though some kind of berry it's really nice it's a really good one yeah muy bien the lunch was a huge success muy delicioso everything was great what do you like the most oh the desserts but i really am a sweet person i really like sugary things yeah. what was your favorite pop -chuk is. the pop chuk was very good as well yeah
Just a Mayan man in his natural habitats. Man, this is so comfortable, eh? <laughs> I bet you not a single person from outside of Mexico would even think to lie on a hammock in the way that you are currently. You know, there's a thousand and one hundred ways to sleep on a hammock. Yeah. Three hours later. How beautiful is this, my love? Mm -hmm. You are truly, truly getting the opportunity to immerse yourself in the jungle here. And yeah. so beautiful. They are, look at all the millions of these. Yeah. Oh, not a single person is here. Amazing. Maybe we should get in here. <laughs> the water is actually Freezing. But I mean, it's like kind of approaching the end of the day now. We get swimming in the Northeads between like 11 a.m. to 2, 3 p.m. It's so refreshing because it's so hot here in the Riviera Maya. We're waving that Cenote goodbye and we are on to our next one. The property is so massive that who knows which Cenote we're going to be at next. I don't know. We're just following paths. Yeah. Saski. Saskalenha. Saskalenha. Which means crystal clear water so if you guys ha didn't know Giovanni is actually of Mayan origin he doesn't speak Mayan but you, you know a few words here and there I mean yeah basic <laughs> his abuelita speaks Mayan <laughs> <laughs> very graceful ah <laughs> oh, my taxi has arrived Wow, it's so beautiful, hey? Yeah. It's currently like three o'clock in the afternoon. Four. And we have Seven. this whole big beautiful single piece for ourselves. It's yeah, it's phenomenal. Incredible. I don't know if we got lucky or it was. Yeah. yeah. What a beautiful yeah. day. We're pretty much done swimming for the day so we're gonna squeeze every last minute we have in this park and we're gonna go back to the hammocks because that was probably one of the highlights of my day <laughs> all you can hear is the birds and the leaves bustling from the wind it's just so tranquil well that's all for today guys we cannot recommend enough visiting eco park Cantucci because uh -huh. it's a it was a really good experience and if you have the chance to do the grotto adventure i think it's a highlight of the park oh yeah absolutely i mean the, the park itself is really beautiful and so all the cenotes and the restaurant was wonderful but that underground cave was just something that you would like see in a movie you know it, it almost didn't seem real so yeah. yeah 10 out of 10 for that experience also leo was a really really good um guide he was so knowledgeable and also had a great sense of humor if you're looking to book this park you can actually find the link in our description also, we have Buy Me A Coffee, so if you'd like to buy us a coffee to help support the channel, or if you'd like to book a virtual have a coffee with us via Buy Me A Coffee, link is also in our bio. And that being said, we'll see you in the next one. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego. Join us in the next episode, where we take you to the quiet and exclusive beach town of Puerto Aventuras, and share why we think this might be the best beach town we have been to so far.